I remember a situation in my life. I was so anxious that I couldn't move anymore. I get goosebumps right now when I think about this situation. It was so crazy. It was in school and once a year we had this week where we have all these projects together, all the classes are mixed up and younger students with older students and so on. And the teacher told me, I want you to talk at the kickoff day of our project week. It fits perfectly. The topic of the week was universe and the topic of my work was space travel and I loved it. I was always dreaming about how exciting it would be if we could travel through the universe. I was extremely happy because I always thought only the super popular students get this opportunity. And now I got it. I wasn't popular in school. Instead, I had a really rough time. There were some people that devoted their lives to make mine a nightmare. But anyway, I never thought that it's me who gets this opportunity. I was excited, I was super proud. For the first time in my life, I had the feeling I can make something. I can make something special that I am someone. I prepared everything super well and I read about this trick that I shouldn't look right into the audience but at the end of the wall. The reason that I was so well prepared, my teacher was so excited about it made me so confident and never felt so good in my life before. I know some of you guys get afraid when you are just thinking about public speaking, but I was super excited. I always wanted to be on a stage, inspire people, talk, sing, dance, whatever. And now I got this amazing opportunity. I was ready to show everybody who I really was. The day came, I stood behind the stage, had all my papers and all my presentation with me and then I began to sweat. It was one minute before the presentation and I don't know why because I was super excited before. This turned completely to full anxiety. My shirt, everything was full and the sweat was running down my face. My mascara was a little bit wet as well and I was so, I don't know, anxious. So I already had my sweater off. Um, just my shirt and I didn't know what to do with the rest of sweating. But well, yeah, I had to go on stage. The complete school was there. Everybody was sitting there. A lot of classmates, a lot of people I've just seen before, a lot of people I've never seen before. And I don't know, a thousand people or so. And the teacher was like smiling at me. I was like, oh, these are, these are a lot of people. I remember as it were yesterday before I knew everything everything was clear in front of my eyes so now I stood on the stage everybody was looking at me and was like and some of my my haters I mean they were laughing and giggling and, and then it was it was over I forget everything I had a blockage I couldn't say anything I couldn't I was just staring at the people the sweat was all over my face now. My hair was wet. I remember everything was wet. And some people started laughing and the teacher was like, mm -hmm. can you start now? I couldn't say anything. I just left after one minute. It felt like one hour standing there and saying nothing and staring at the people. I don't know why it was. <sighs> it was horrible. I never felt so bad in my life before. I don't know why it started. Suddenly, suddenly everything was... <sighs> of course, from this situation on, I had a lot of anxiety in front of people. Um, all the classmates and everybody was laughing at me all the weeks after and months. And yeah, it was, it was topic number one <laughs> the last day in the last weeks in the whole school. And I was thinking all the time, wow, what they're thinking about me now. And you can imagine this is by far not the only situation where, where I felt so much fear and pain. So there was this one day in my life I decided to quit, where I decided to address my fear. And I wanted to end our relationship forever. So I started writing, writing a letter to fear. I was writing and writing for hours and it was a roller coaster of emotions. But it was at the same time super relieving. I was so free. 
suddenly. Oh, this was a great feeling. Every time when I have a tough situation, then I'm listening to the song Dear Fear again and I'm going over the situation where I relieved all the anxiety. And this is great because then I'm feeling so free again and I remind myself on this. Well, you know, there was this day I was on my way to my manager, we had a meeting and I had this strange feeling. I wasn't feeling good because he's always so stubborn. He wants to get his idea in the right way. He wants his idea worked out and he never wants to hear my ideas. And so I was on my way and I listened to a couple of songs from my pre-productions and also to my song Dear Fear. And I was feeling so good. I was like, oh, what's this? Oh, wow, this is such an amazing song. All the bad emotions were gone and I was feeling so good and relieved again. It really had to make it on my album. Every time when I have a tough situation, when I feel anxious and not good and I think, oh no, what's going on? Then I listen to the song Dear Fear again. I go through all these emotions again and it's feeling, it's the same feeling, the same relievement then. Everything is so free then, it's opening up and the world is amazing after this again. And when you listen to the bridge, you get the feeling how it was, like this is over now, I break up with you forever and ever, yes forever and ever. Then you get the idea how this feeling was. Then I go through the same emotions and this relieving feeling and suddenly everything is super free and uh, it's, it's so relieving. And with this song Dear Fear I wanted to inspire other people who are going through anxious times or having fear or pain also and they get the same relieving feeling, the same relievement with the song. So the next time when you feel bad and full of anxiety and not good and you don't know what to do, just listen to the song Dear Fear and you will feel relieved after it. Sing with it, dance with it, smile with it and um, it will make you free. This is my mission, my goal for each and every single song I write for you sunshines to inspire you, to help you so that you can learn from my experience. And of course, Sunshines, you know me, I love music and I love makeup as well. This is the reason why I created a Dear Fear look. This is the Dear Fear look and all the products are linked down below. And I love glitter. The key product is the glitter cream in shade Mermaid. I have it in the corner and a little bit on my eyelid. I blended it with my eyeshadow and I love it so, so much. It's perfect. I hope I can inspire you with my story, with my song Dear Fear, with my makeup. Thank you so much for watching. I love you.